Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll solve a problem that involves fractions and uh, volume of cubes and cubits. Okay, so let's read the question. It says a rectangular aquarium is two fifth filled. When 16 liters of water are added, the aquarium is two third filled. Find the height of the aquarium if its length and width are 50 centimeter and 40 centimeters respectively. Okay, so let's see. Here is an aquarium. Okay, and uh, let's suppose that this is the rectangular aquarium that we're talking about. And the length of the rectangular uh, aquarium is 50 centimeters and its width is 40 centimeters. Now we have to find out the height of the aquarium. Okay, so let's uh, put that information down here. This is 50 centimeters. This is 40 centimeters. And this is what we have to find out the height. Okay, so this is the question mark. All right, now what is the information that's given to us? We know that the rectangular aquarium was two fifth filled at first. Okay, so let's suppose that uh, if this aquarium is divided into five parts, okay, so about one, two, three, four, and five. So if it was divided into five parts, then it was already two fifth filled. So until about this level, this height. Okay, so let's mark that here. Okay, so this is about two fifth. Okay. So there was water until this level at first. Okay, we're assuming it was water. What else would an aquarium have, right? So water and fish. Okay, then when there was 16 liters of water added to it, so there were 16 liters of more water added to it, then the aquarium was two-third filled, which means that if the aquarium was now divided into three parts, okay, the height of the aquarium was divided into three parts, we cannot divide the length and the breadth, right? So we can only divide the height. So if the height of the aquarium was divided into three parts, let's suppose, uh, let's use another color. So let's suppose one, two, in three parts okay then now the aquarium was filled until this level that is two-third filled so let's uh, draw that as well so the aquarium is now filled until this level I pour some more water Now, where do we mark the 16 liters? Well, the 16 liters are here. So this volume, the difference in the two heights, okay? This volume is equal to 16 liters of water, okay, 16 liters. So now we have to find out the height of the aquarium, which is, what is this equal to? Well, how do we find that out? Okay, so let's see. This was two fifth the capacity of the rectangular aquarium, and this was two third the capacity of the rectangular aquarium. And the difference in those two capacities is equal to 16 liters. Okay, so now two third the capacity minus two fifth the capacity is equal to 16 liters, right? So let's write that down two third minus two fifth of the capacity of the rectangular aquarium is equal to 16 liters. All right, now what is two third minus two fifth? Well, if we were to find a common denominator for these two fractions, then it would be 15 and two third would be equal to 10 over 15 and two fifths would be equal to six over 15. Okay, so 10 over 15 minus six over 15 of the capacity of the aquarium is equal to 16 liters, right? The difference in the two capacities is equal to 16 liters. So this is 4 15th of the capacity of the aquarium and that is equal to 16 liters. So 4 15th of the capacity of the aquarium is 16 liters. Now what can you tell about the capacity of the aquarium from here? Well the capacity of the aquarium 
is then equal to 16 liters okay 16 liters divided by this number right so divided by 415 if we move this fraction to the other side then this becomes instead of multiply it becomes divide right so this is then equal to 16 times 15 over 4 if we change the division sign to multiplication sign then we flip the fraction we learned that previously right so this is equal to upon simplification 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 16 divided by 4 is 4 so this is equal to 4 times 15 which is equal to 60 liters so the total capacity of this aquarium is equal to 60 liters okay so we found that out that the total capacity or the maximum volume of the aquarium is equal to 60 liters now how do we find out what the height of the aquarium is equal to well let's do some more calculation okay so i make some room here first so the maximum volume okay i'll write that down volume max okay or in other words capacity is equal to length times breadth times height right L for length B for breadth and H for height now we know what the volume or the maximum volume is the maximum volume is equal to 16 liters and the length is equal to 50 centimeters the breadth is 40 centimeters and we have to find the height which we don't know yet okay now 60 liters how do we change that to cubic centimeters Well, 60 liters is equal to 60 times 1000 centimeter cube because 1 liter is equal to 1000 cubic centimeter or 1000 centimeter cubes. So 60 liters will then be equal to 60 times 1000 centimeter cubes, right? And then that is equal to 50 centimeters times 40 centimeters times the height. Okay, so from here, 60 times 1000 cubic centimeters divided by 50 times 40 right so 50 times 40 centimeter square centimeters times centimeters centimeter square right that will give you the height of the aquarium okay now it's a pretty simple calculation the zero and the zero over here the two zeros get cancelled out then and you get 12 here and one here okay you get one here and you get three here so three times the remainder this is 10 okay so three times 10 is 30 and therefore the height is equal to 30 centimeters okay so the centimeter square over here gets cancelled with this one you'll be left only with the centimeter so the height is equal to 30 centimeters this question mark over here is equal to 30 centimeters Okay, so how did we go about solving this problem? Well, we found out first that the difference between when the aquarium was two-third filled and when it was two-fifth filled was 16 liters and that helped us to find out the total capacity of the aquarium, which means that what is the maximum amount of water that it can hold? Okay, so we found out that the maximum amount of water that the aquarium can hold is 60 liters and then we simply plugged all the numbers that we knew into this formula which is volume is equal to length times breadth times height. Now we have the length with us, we have the breadth with us and we have the volume with us and we did a few conversions which was to change the liter to centimeter cube and then we simply uh, divided uh, the volume by the length and the breadth and that gave us the height of the aquarium. Alright, so that's that about this word problem. I hope you got it. And uh, I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.